creating a simple API and hosting it on Amazon LightSail with a custom domain and SSL certification, HTTPS, all that jazz. Um, so let me show you what we're going to be making first. Here I have a simple Express app on port 3000. Once you go to it, it'll say, welcome to my server. This is the home page on port whatever. And if you do slash whatever, um, usually somebody's name, it'll say, hello, name. So we're going to run it. And if we go to localhost 3000 and refresh, this is what will show up. And if we do slash Jose, we'll say, hello, Jose. So let's create a light cell instance. This is just a VPS, like uh, DigitalOcean and all the other ones. Click on Linux, click on Node. You can enable automatic snapshots and you can uh, create a SSH key. I'm just gonna connect using the web portal here through Amazon and just choose the cheapest instance. I don't recommend, you know, going crazy for your first one. I'm gonna name this uh, test API because that's really what it is. Create instance. And this is gonna take a few minutes, be patient. Uh, if you try to connect um, using this button here, that will pop up soon. Let me refresh. There's gonna be a little like command terminal uh, icon here. If you try to connect right away, it will give you an error saying you you won't be able to. So I'll just come back when this is done. There's a little icon. If you click on it, you'll get this. An error occurred. So just wait. In the meantime, though, uh, what you can do is go to networking, create a static IP, select your instance that you just created, and you could just leave that as default. Click create. This will give us a static IP that won't change. Uh, that much in the future and just copy this and we can load up our instance once it's up at this IP. To get a custom domain on your uh, web server, we're going to go to the instance and we're going to go to networking and we're going to go to guess not <laughs> networking here and create DNS zone. And we're going to type in the name of the domain. Mine is opensourceme.app. I went to Google Domains and I just bought it on um, $12 for a whole year. Type in opensourceme.app here. Create DNS zone. We're going to add a record. Um, you're going to put an A record, put at. And then remember that IP from earlier? It should automatically pop up here, but it's a static IP. Add it here. Add another A record. Type in www and same IP, click OK. Now in your domain hosting, you're gonna to have to add the name servers that Amazon provides you. So we're gonna copy the first one, go to the domain, click DNS, and then over here, use custom name servers. We're gonna add the first one, click the arrow, add the second one. Save. And if you haven't done so already, um, you should publish this to your GitHub repository. It doesn't have to be public, but just make sure it's um, on GitHub. And I have it here. If you guys want this code, it'll be in the description as well. So click on code, and we're going to copy that link here. So by now, your LightSail instance should be up. And click the little terminal icon, and it should connect. You should see this. If you type ls, you can see the directories, and we're going to go to htdocs. So type in cdocs, and just delete everything in there, rm-rf star, and type in git clone, and paste the link from the git repository, and just sign into GitHub. I think this only uh, asks you for the credentials if the repository is private. That's gonna take a minute to download. Oh, that was pretty quick. <laughs> so if you type in LS, we should see a folder called Express Testing, and we're gonna go into it. And then LS, you'll see that there's no node modules folder. That's because I have a git ignore um, to not add that to the git repository. So we have to download that um, as well. So we do npm install. And now, if we do node index.js, 
our app is running on localhost 3000, but it's not going to be localhost, it's going to be our IP. So let's test that out before we go any further. And type in 3000. Ah, so <laughs> it won't load because we don't uh, have access to go there. So go to our instance, and go to networking, and then add a rule for custom TCP, type in 3000. Give it about 10 seconds and it will load. Uh, you can delete this later. We still have to set up the port. There it is. Welcome to my server. This is the home page on port 3000. And if we do slash Jose, we'll say hello, Jose. Oops, again, <laughs> backwards. Um, so now we got to add the uh, custom domain. So this link is going to be in the description. We have to route all traffic on port 80 and port 443 to our port 3000 because that's where our express app is running. So to do that, <laughs> uh, you can click the link in the description, but just copy this here and then go to your light sale instance, clear. No, let me close it just in case I have two terminals open. Yes, I do, um, and this. And then VI to open a VIM, paste. And then don't type a bunch of random letters, press I. And then copy this. And just go back, paste. And then scroll up. And you see this little directory here? We're going to replace it with our app directory. So I have it written down here. It's in a uh, home slash bitnami slash htdoc slash express testing. And replace this one as well. And the port should uh, already be 3000. So now press escape. Uh, semicolon and then X, and then exclamation mark to force save. And then there should be another one as well. So here's the directory. And then we're gonna do this again. VI, paste. Press I to insert, copy this. Paste. And then again, replace this directory with your app directory. Again, to escape, <laughs> press escape, semicolon, X, exclamation mark to force. Okay. And copy this line here to restart the Apache server. Whoops. And we started Apache. So now if we type in node index.js, it should show up at our local IP without having to put in port 3000. Ta-da. Welcome to my server. This is the home page on port 3000. And if we do slash whatever, they'll say hello, whatever. So now Google says our site's not secure. So let's fix that really quick. Copy this command here. And just open the terminal again. I'm gonna end the uh, node server. So control C. I think it's also control C on Windows. Paste the command. It's gonna tell you to run it again. So just give it a second. Press yes. And then type it again. Now here you would put the domain uh, that you purchased on Google domains or GoDaddy or whatever. Um, so I have open source me dot app and then you're going to put a space and you're going to put www dot your domain again, enter. And yes, yes, no, and then yes. 
and it's going to ask you for an email address. I'm just going to put mine there. And yes, you agree. There, press enter to continue. And now Bitnami comes with something called forever. And that's just going to run your app even if you exit the SSH terminal. So type in forever start uh, index.js. Okay, so now if we close, whoa, what happened? <laughs> Is it running? Am I going crazy? <laughs> um, there we go. So <laughs> if you go to the domain now, you should be all set. And let me close the terminal. Should still be up. And if you want to do another test, you can open up Postman. And I'm going to type in slash. Can I zoom in on this? No. Oh, yes, I can. Slash YouTube tutorial. You should say, hello, YouTube tutorial. We're going to do a get request. Hello, YouTube tutorial. So there you go. And your site is secure, encrypted. And yeah, leave a like if this helps because I had some trouble finding all the steps in one go. Any questions, leave them down below.